Yo, welcome everyone. At the moment, Bitcoin is surprisingly holding quite well after hitting our very important price target literally perfectly. But in today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we'll talk about four slightly different bullish scenarios you simply need to be aware of and why a massive surge in price can be just around the corner. But first, what we are going to notice is that we are definitely seeing a very small rejection towards downside after Bitcoin hit our daily high from time from area of resistance at 58,000 US dollars in a combination with our golden Fibonacci ratio. But the thing is, right, when we pay attention to exactly what have been happening only for the past couple of hours, you're going to notice that on this middle indicator, we have gotten quite a big push towards the upside. So what does it mean? This indicator right here is showing us an open interest, which is actually showing if the brand new money is coming or leaving the market. And because this right here is as right now seeing a push towards the upside, that simply means that people at this specific area are entering brand new positions. But looking only at the open interest indicator, we cannot really say that those positions are going to be long or short positions. That's why we use the CVD indicator, where we are going to notice we also have gotten an increase towards the upside in a combination with the open interest increase, which pretty much means people at this specific area as of right now are opening brand new long positions. And let me right now tell you why potentially Bitcoin can actually see another push towards the upside, at least for us to take our previous highs, where of course, as we also mentioned yesterday, we might even be interested to go with a brand new short or a sound position. Now, first of all, going with a long at this specific area, it is still slightly more risky, but nevertheless, let's talk about the the five wave price structure Bitcoin can literally right now be developing exactly at the area where we are trading at the moment. We can actually as right now say that Bitcoin completed its first impulsive elite wave right here. We got an ABC correction. Another impulsive elite wave for our third one. We got another ABC correction. And of course, after the fourth elite wave is right now finished, we can be expecting another push toward the upside for our fifth Elliott wave. And it really does look like that when we zoom in, for example, on the 30 minute time frame, this specific correction is almost like in a textbook. We can definitely see three wave price structure right here, another three wave price structure right here, and a five wave price structure towards downside, which means that it does look like Bitcoin is right now finishing its flat type of a correction. And if the bottom as of right now at this specific area is in, we can simply be expecting another push towards the upside for Bitcoin to at least take our previous highs. Later, we are going to talk about exactly where is going to be our next very important area of resistance and our important price target. But right now, let's talk about this very interesting chart that Titan of Crypto posted only a couple of hours ago. And you're going to notice that he is pretty much talking about some historical signals that have already happened in the past, but he's also saying that it's likely time for Bitcoin to wrap up this consolidation phase. History doesn't always repeat itself, but it often rhymes. And when we look at this very interesting and very accurate picture, it does look like that in our previous cycle, Bitcoin also got a push towards the upside, a significant bull market after approximately 150 days. But after the all time high was formed at this specific area at 20,000 US dollars, we needed to wait approximately 660 days. And what we are seeing as of right now, before we do look at this, I would really appreciate if you're right now actually smash up the like button because yesterday we almost reached 600 likes. Today, I definitely do think it is possible. And also, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel because we are targeting 100,000 subscribers. Similarly, as Bitcoin is also targeting 100,000 US dollars. Now, let's look at what is happening happening as of right now on the Bitcoin chart itself. We can notice that after the all-time high was in back in 2021, it does look like that right now also 662 days are coming up literally in the upcoming days right here. 
and also when we go with our having it does look like 146 days is also going to be hit in the upcoming days and historically speaking when both of those dates aligned we have gotten an insane push towards the upside an insane rally started not only on the bitcoin chart itself but of course also on the altcoins market so again overall picture on bitcoin when we zoom out on the weekly on the monthly time frame at least in my opinion and actually no not only in my opinion also looking at some very interesting data right here for the past couple of months it does look like all of them are saying to us we are most probably going to continue at least towards a brand new all-time high for us to go above 75,000 us dollars and ideally even hit above 100,000 us dollars but now let's zoom in a little bit on the one time frame where if you don't really like my bullish elite fifth count idea i just shared with you we can also talk about a very simple technical analysis and usually keeping everything simple is the best way so what we can do right here connecting our lower highs with a diagonal expanding this one towards the downside it does look like we can simply say bitcoin is forming some kind of a descending channel or one could also say we are forming some kind of a bull flag now in terms of the bull flag right here right we also need to talk about the price target and also the fibonacci time in terms of a bull flag it needs to be a very short consolidation phase so because of that we need to go with fibonacci time and when we measure the entire impulse towards the upside we should not usually take longer versus the entire impulse towards the upside as of right now it is definitely taking longer than our one-to-one -one fibonacci time level and that is why this specific push towards the upside with this specific bull flag it's not really valid however we can extend our fibonacci time towards this specific low and simply say we got the pull of our bull flag right here and as of right now we are forming this bullish pattern that is why if this right here is right now correct we can then also measure the price target which is going to be from the bottom back towards the top right here expecting a potential breakout literally in the upcoming hours and the theoretical target in that case is going to be approximately 61,700 US dollars above our previous high but usually as I say we need to go from level to level and the thing is this right here is definitely not going to be our first first important price target we should actually be aware of remember what we said yesterday we need to also be aware of some liquidations that are above us and also of course towards our next important high term time frame daily area of resistance at 59,000 US dollars aligning very very nicely and aligning literally perfectly with the point of control of the entire consolidation right here that is why I would say if Bitcoin does see another push towards the upside breaking out from this some kind of a bull flag right here our next target is going to be 59,100 US dollars where potentially if there is going to be some kind of a rejection we can simply say one two three four and five wave price structure on Bitcoin finished and we can be expecting another retracement another push towards downside on Bitcoin to actually be formed now of course if we are going to see a push up and then a push towards downside or maybe if our value area low where Bitcoin is trading at the moment it's already going to be lost remember what are going to be our next important price targets as we already mentioned yesterday if we would like to be slightly more bullish we need to hold our value area low where bitcoin is trading at the moment if this value area low is going to be lost for example in the upcoming hours right here we need to immediately look for lower targets because it is going to be a significant bearish bitcoin indication and what was our next important price target towards downside simply we paid attention to the liquidations and as of right now it really does look like we have liquidations and i mean a lot of liquidations at 54,300 400 us dollars area exactly where we also start our semi gap and that is why the moment we start breaking our value area low of course i am not looking to go with a short or a sell position at this specific area we are looking for a short at the area of resistance which was hit only a couple of hours ago but if we do see right now a push towards some side this right here is definitely going to be our next important price target now here
here you should not get scared if there is going to be right now a push down and an immediate reaction towards the upside because when we go with the liquidations once more you can also notice that literally exactly below this specific low we still do have some liquidations that is why in that case if there is going to be right now just a small push towards the upside taking the liquidity once more below the previous low and then do see a reaction towards the upside we can actually be looking to go with a brand new long or a buying position on the bitcoin price itself and by the way if you want to trade with us as of right now you can still get a free 500 usdt position airdrop on bybit exchange with the first link down below all you have to do right here click the link register and after initial deposit you're going to get literally a free 500 us dollar position airdrop you only have seven more days to actually claim this very nice position and i can almost guarantee you in the upcoming days the volatility on bitcoin most probably it is going to be super nice and very appropriate for us to actually fire maybe a long maybe even another short or a sound position but nevertheless maybe if you don't want to complete kyc bluffing as of right now it's also offering some very nice bonuses with the links down below after initial deposit and also after you trade something so you really do have some very nice bonuses available with the links down below especially a free 500 us dollar trade on bybit with the first link down below now let's talk about another very important thing which is going to be another bullish scenario that el crypto proof posted only a couple of hours ago and he's as a right now saying i think it's time for an update right so far so good don't forget bitcoin is in a triple tap setup and forming an inverse head and shoulders pattern here higher in my opinion so when we right now pay attention to this very interesting chart personally i wouldn't really say that this right here is actually a head and shoulders pattern but we could talk about a triple tap setup and it does really look like that our current price action right here is very very similar to the triple tap setup that he's right now referring to so according to this very interesting chart the low on bitcoin was in this specific area and also the higher low we put in only a couple of days ago should right now also theoretically be in that is why he's right now already talking about higher price targets to happen on the bitcoin chart itself now if this setup right here is right now correct and he's already expecting higher as we mentioned before we can definitely be aware of our five wave price structure towards the upside that we mentioned so what exactly do i have in mind if this specific chart right here is actually going to play out we can simply say that bitcoin finished its first impulsive alley wave towards the upside of course for this first impulsive alley wave we still need to see another push towards the upside for bitcoin to actually take out our previous high after the first one we can expect a retracement towards some side and then of course simply continuation towards the upside for another significant five wave price structure so as of right now we have already covered three very nice bullish scenarios the first one is a little bit more local where we are expecting slight push towards the upside at least above our previous high the second bullish scenario was with our significant bull run right here and of course another one also pretty much is saying the same thing we can be expecting significantly higher price targets in the upcoming months but now let's focus also a little bit more locally right here because on the one hourly time frame we are seeing as of right now just a slight bullish indication and that is going to be an ema cross on the one hourly time frame now unfortunately this cross is only happening on the one hourly on the two hourly on the four hourly time frame we are still trading in a significant downtrend right here so because of that we cannot really say that bitcoin is as of right now looking super bullish and that we are immediately going to continue our way towards the upside we are only trading in terms of probabilities right here but nevertheless the first bullish indication it's definitely as of right now going to be an ema cross on the one hour time frame that does mean we need to immediately initiate a long or a buying position right here but nevertheless it is simply going to be a first bullish signal later in the video i am going to share with you exactly where i'm as of right now searching for another long or a buying position and also where i'm looking to go with a short or a sell position on bitcoin but before we do talk about that we need to also look at another very interesting chart from tag dev he's actually using some very interesting indicators on this specific chart it is going to be the rsi indicator the fisher indicator and also right here he does have another some kind of a graph but it does look like we got some kind of an abc correction also back in 2016 pushed towards the upside and also only a couple of years ago we got another abc correction but the most important thing is that it really does look like that history might be repeating we are seeing the blue cycle on the fisher indicator we also got the blue cycle right here bitcoin simply got 
a push towards the upside. And also on the RSI indicator, it really looks almost identical. And yes, as right now, we are also in the blue area. And historically speaking, we should be expecting a significant push towards the upside. That is why, literally, all of the higher term timeframes and also some very interesting charts are as a right now saying to us, most probably, we are going to continue our way towards the upside. That is why we need to be positioned well in the cryptocurrency market. That is why I'm always telling to you, once we are pushing towards downside, it is a good time to accumulate even more Bitcoin, to accumulate even more altcoins, because we can definitely look forward to maybe even an altcoin season in the upcoming weeks. But now, how can we approach the chart to potentially go with a brand new long or a buying position, maybe even in the upcoming hours? Now, in terms of the open interest and the CVD indicator that we talked about before, it does look like a lot of people are entering a brand new long or a buying position, literally at the area where Bitcoin is trading at the moment. That is why we have started forming a lot of liquidations below our previous low. And I would say like that, if you're feeling a little bit more risky, because remember, we are still moving in a significant downtrend when we look on the two hour and on the four time frame we can still be looking to go with some kind of a long position but the thing is our invalidation level needs to be quite tight why so because as we mentioned before the moment we start losing our value area low right here it is a bearish bitcoin indication so i would say like that if you're actually interested to go with a long or a buy right here yes we can be looking for it even better if bitcoin does see another push towards downside taking out our recent low that was formed only a couple of hours ago hit the liquidation level right here and then immediately we need to see a reaction towards the upside if the reaction happens long position at this specific area can actually be initiated with the stop loss simply below our value area low the moment we start breaking our value area low i want to be out of my position as soon as possible then we are simply targeting a brand new higher high maybe even our daily or point of control at approximately 59 000 us dollars where i would actually also look to go with a brand new short or a sell position because simply, as we mentioned before, overall speaking on the two hour and on the four hour time frame, we are moving in a downtrend. And that is why simply as of right now, still, it does make a little bit more sense for us to search for another short or a sell position. But nevertheless, in the upcoming hours, we might see another opportunity for another position, maybe already as of right now. But as we mentioned before, our stop loss needs to be placed below the value area low. And of course, also slightly below our previous low in case Bitcoin does see a push towards some side, liquidate those people and only then do see potentially another significant push towards the upside towards our next very important price target. Now, if you want to trade with us, you can secure a free 500 US dollar position airdrop with the first link down below after you register and after initial deposit. And thank you very much for smashing up the like button.